What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to the biggest entertainment show on the planet, where we analyze and dissect the trend in entertainment story. This is a fair... This is Plus TV Africa. <laughs> my name is Efe Oluwa Oshike. And I've got my co-anchors with me, the big, bold, and beautiful Ewa Ritu and the phenomenal Benny Ak. What's good, guys? Efe. Efe. Mm. What? Don't stop. Don't stop what? I am enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> stop Okay. 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 Next I, I almost Next called my name as Plus TV Africa. It's all right. It's yeah, enormous. maybe 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 I'll be the MDC CEO soon enough. It's, I'm not trying enough. to. Well, I'm not planning a cool. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case the guy at the top the is next, watching. The next introduction at 4:30 included for our, the flirtatious, bodacious. Okay. No, okay. No, no, please all don't right. do that. All right. All right. If I don't bodacious. do that. No, you know I got you, man. You know I got you covered. <laughs> We'll call by. You were just flirting with the on TV just now. I mean, I was not. Oh, mm. Don't stop. <laughs> don't stop. Like, no, but I'm used to it. Moving though. on. All right, so down to the business of the day. <laughs> Shego Arinze is in the news for a video circulating on social media where the veteran actor can be seen chasing his house help down the road after allegedly brutalizing him for driving his car without his permission. A Twitter user who was an eyewitness documented the event, criticizing the actor that the beating was unnecessary. Hmm. Mm. Do we have that video? Um, I don't know, but we don't have the video right now, but I think a lot of people should see that video because they said he almost killed him with his car and the guy was on the floor crying, you know, it was so exaggerated and when I saw the video, mm. it wasn't actually what the, the eyewitness narrated that actually happened. So, so what happened? All right, so... From what I saw in the video, so maybe there was something going on in the crib, and then the guy ran out of the house, and Shego Arinze decided to chase him down the street. With but, his car? Yeah, with his car, just to get his attention and probably get him back to the house. But a lot of people intercepted him because he was still going to go after the guy because he came out of his car. But a lot of people, um, passers-by, came out, and they were like, oh, bro, chill, 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 chill. But did and they, they say the guy was, was found with bruises and injuries around his I body? Didn't, I didn't see any of that. I didn't see, but that's what the eyewitness, well, the camera can do justice to all of that, though, mm -hmm. because it was quite from a distance, but um, if he did that, I really do not, well, if you were in his shoes, what would you do? Maybe we should start with that. In, in shoes about what, exactly? Um, okay, your so house help takes your car without your permission and mm -hmm. goes on a driving spree. Okay, and does it bring the car back afterwards? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. So I'll reprimand him, and that could be the end of his job with me. That's it. Okay, so you. I'll reprimand him, him, and then that could be the end. Like you know, what, leave. It's time for you to leave my house. But for me to not stop, be I don't, you don't, you don't have the right to beat anybody. No human being on earth has the right to touch, to put their fingers, their hand on another human being. Mm -hmm. You don't. Mm -hmm. But call them your domestic help. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In my house, we don't call them that. You know. Don't you? Call um, them? We don't call them that. They, they stay, they stay, they live with us. We don't call them that a domestic help. No. You know, we don't call them house help. Because they're human beings, they offer you service. Mm. You know, and so call you by your name, you're part of the family, you're living with so us. So they're called sanitation executive. Well, if, that's, if that makes <laughs> some people feel <laughs> better with themselves. But this is my point, right? Nothing should ever bring anybody to the point of that kind of rage. Mm. I don't, the story is not complete, and so mm. I can't stop judging Shergo and Reza right now mm. for whatever it was that happened. But nothing should ever bring a man to a point of view now start chasing after somebody driving in a car. The story said, I mean, he was chasing after the guy with wounds and bruises. Mm -hmm. That's after he had beaten the guy up, you know, and that he used the car to even hit the guy. That's what the story says. The no, Twitter, the tweet, the Twitter, the Twitter video, eyewitness that's said. Not what that's how like, do we have the video? No. So the video will have done justice to whatever analysis okay. we're going to make right here. But before we came on, we're talking about people's mental state of being. It's very crucial. We can no longer be in denial about mental state of health. People are not okay. People need psychiatric evaluation. People need assessment. They're, which they're, is they're which borderline which personality is what, disorder. Uh, we the all have. Eyewitness said. You know, and so, and so for someone of repute like Shego Arinze um, to be seen or to be caught in this kind of situation, it calls for mm. concern. Mm. Regardless of whatever it is, it calls for concern. The man needs to be checked. He needs to be assessed to know what really the problem is. People need to understand that it's okay for you to check in once in a while mm. with therapists, even with your psychiatrist. It's, it's an evaluation. It's an assessment. It doesn't mean you are colo. 
Oh, I, I mean, I speak to therapists every now and then. It's for my sanity. It's for my peace of mind. It's for my mm -hmm. mental health. So at the end of the day, I don't wake up one day and people are like, okay, what happened? It didn't just start that day. It's, it's an accumulation of things that will have happened, but you were not speaking to anybody, you were not mm. getting any kind of help, and then boom, they say he has committed suicide, he jumped over the third million bridge. Mm. Okay, so let me get your take on this. Okay, yeah, I mean, I'm going to agree with Benny when he said um, it's not going to judge Sheikh Marinzi because the stories yeah. are complete. We don't know what exactly happened. happened. But, like you rightly said, no matter what happened, you have no right to eat anybody or beat anybody up, not to talk of chasing him up and down. I mean, what you can always tell him that your job is done here, just Simple. move on. It's just, what if mm. um, the process of chasing him, the guy just falls and dies? Or what, anything... He runs into a car. Or he runs into a car. I mean, mistakes, anything can happen. As for someone like him, I, do, I feel like he should have acted better and done right, because he knows that he's someone that everybody knows and all lies are on him. Exactly. For all you right. to be on the street doing so that is wrong. So, personally... I like that. My... He should have acted after as an actor. He should have acted better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so my take on this is um, from my relationship with Shegwan Rinze and knowing him personally, I was still with him on the 6th of December, and... Um... It's all right. It's okay to farm. It's all right. We're, no, 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 we're, no, we're no, 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 no. Then I'm telling you, from my relationship it's, it's with okay. Shek, he is yes. he is a very jovial person. Mm -hmm. So I think before Shek Wanrinze will do this kind but of I've thing. But I've also heard that he has he has a temper issue. Well, do you every, know that? Yeah. I think everyone has a temper no, issue. No, I think we, not everyone. I think we're all temperamental, depending on how we get pushed. Temperamental, now, unnecessary, now, I mean, rage. I mean. Now, now. You're just saying this because you're not in that position. Mm. You do not know the way they oh, the no, 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 wait, 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 On the contrary, fair, I've been in situations whereby if some other people have been, maybe what that idiot, the 20, the 26 year old guy did, will have been accepted. Yeah. No, I mean, my, my temperament has been tested too many times. But mm. I just feel, I think, React, no reaction is a reaction in itself. No, look, we always feel the need. I was, to I was getting, I was getting yeah. somewhere with this because um, you don't know how the guy reacted. You don't know. They said he caught the bug Larry mm. to get the car. Do you understand? So you don't know the circumstances it's surrounding. It's wait, it's wait, it's wait, wait, hold on, up, hold on, <laughs> wait. Mm. Until look, they said there are three sides to a story: my side, your side, and the truth. So we need to hear from Shegwan Rinze before we jump into it. Shegwan Rinze, law enforcement officer. I was going to say that, like, uh, if that's sorry, if what you if just that's said. If that's what happened, that's what happened. That means the guy, the guy was the guy, the, that's, the guy stole. That means the guy stole the car for yeah, him to have broken the car. Yeah, it's like a grand theft. Good. That's checked. He's an actor. He's an actor. It's not a law enforcement mm. officer, so we put, we put the guy well, to the police. But look, you never if know how you're going saying, to react but until this is you're not, tested. This is now, not I'm about... not trying to justify whatever Cheguan is. It sounds did. like you're trying to. No, I'm not trying that. to just. I'm not. You I'm know, not from the fact to... that you know you know him and uh, from the fact that yeah. I'm Famze. Let's <laughs> just use your word, right? <laughs> so from the fact that I'm Famze. But, but that's what it but, sounds like. No, I'm not justifying this, but I'm just saying that look. Maybe this guy, okay, this eyewitness, you know how people want to get attention on social media and say, maybe Shego and Rizzi didn't even touch this guy. Maybe he was just outraged and then he was screaming and then out of fear, this domestic staff ran out of the house and he decided to go chase him before something else happens or before it runs away because at the end of the day, if this guy disappears because of such a minor issue like you guys are trying to paint it... And no, then, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, I'm wait, not painting it as a minor okay, issue. Okay, I'm just okay. saying that... No, okay. Shagwarinze if this guy disappears better, out the because of this minor issue, mm. Shagwarinze will still be held responsible. The family of that guy will come for him. So are we so sure Shagwarinze was not trying to chase him to say, guy, calm down, look, let's go home and talk about this. But that's not what the video looks like. That's not what honest. the video looks like. like the, vi no, the video didn't look like it was trying to call him like, calm down, let's go. My, people were trying to old Shegun down, so he won't go. Well, I didn't, I I didn't see any bruises. Mm -hmm. I didn't see the guy on the floor. I didn't see him trying to hit him with his car. I didn't see none of that. So in the video, may, maybe if you watch the video a lot more, you understand that, look, the different ways to actually um, What's it called? Interpret the video because, mm. for my interpretation, it could have been so many things. So, until Shego Arinze comes out to release a statement and say that, okay, this was exactly what happened, or we get a full picture, a full body image of the guy on, with his bruises and all of that, then maybe that's when I'll start judging him. But 
I don't know how, how I would react in that position. Okay, I'm going to give you a funny story. If I, I get what when, you're saying with, about not knowing how to react. That's why we need to... These stories happen, so we learn from them. So you know that people will try to get on, on your nerves. I mean, people will want you to cross the red line. But please, always life. control yourself never to cross the red line. Because at the end of the day, it's not about who made you angry. It's about your own reaction. That's how it is. All right, so let's move on to the next story and just end this whole thing. Shegun Rizé Tilo releases a statement on, on this. So the giant of Africa, Bona Boy, during the Cardi B concert has revealed that he will be coming home with the Grammy. And when he comes back, we go reason. According to the most demanded singer in Africa right now, he said... He's coming home with the Grammy. So we yes, got, we we're expecting make some noise it, for brother. Him. Oh, <laughs> but Sean Kuti was so confident it was going to come home with the Grammys. It goes. It goes Femi without Kuti. saying. It goes without saying. Um, I'm happy for Bonner Boy. It's mm. been it's been it's been his year so far. Yeah. It's been 2019 Bonner Boy's year. I mean, the Giant of Africa and getting to that nomination. Yes, you want to draw the the difference between him and Femi Kuti or Sean Kuti. Bonner Boy has had a phenomenal year. He's had a phenomenal mm. collaboration with the mm. international acts, and mm. he's known globally. The chances, the chances of him not coming back home with that Grammy is pretty slim. Slim, mm -hmm. true. I'm sorry, I gotta say the chances yeah, are pretty slim. True, true. You know, and so I love his confidence. Some people might say, okay, he's coming out cocky. Yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah you're gonna come home with a Grammy, but. Let a man speak. What's a powerful one? So if he's confident about no. it, he's coming back. No, I mean, when Bonner Boy speaks, it's, it's, you know? yeah, it's just the truth. Yeah. Because so. when it was all about the Coachella thing, saying I'm the giant of Africa, you can't put my name in small prints, we, did, we all didn't understand what was going on then um. until this guy was nominated for the Grammys. Sometimes, so, yeah. I just realized in this, side, in this side of the world, so. yeah. in this yeah. side of the world, confidence sometimes comes up as arrogance, you know, knowing what you want and what you don't want, people find it to be very irritating and they, they tiger you proud. I'm sorry, but Bonner Boy is one guy who, he's, he's self-aware, he knows himself, he knows the power he wields. Mm. And I don't think anybody should fault him for that, that somebody is so confident in himself and be pretty much self-aware about their potentials and the power they wield. It's a place of self-awareness. Not too many people in this life journey would come to that place. And Bonner is one of those conscious people. He knows everything about who Bonner is. Yes. And so I see confidence, and I love it, I embrace it, and I'm wishing well. And it's going to do us great if a Grammy comes home to Africa, comes home to I really Nigeria. can't wait It's to coming home. Well. You know, I'm so sure yeah, I really home. can't wait for that to <laughs> happen. No bad blood on that statement, man. No, yeah. no yeah. bad blood. In fact, we're all rooting for Bonner Boy to bring home the Grammys. <laughs> and because, it's great to bring it And he deserves it because the mm -hmm. Giants of Africa have been listening to it for the past three days now. Like, that's all you I've been listening to. You can't get enough of it. You can't get enough. Yeah. You can't get tired of that album. And then his world tour so far has been sold out. Mm -hmm. It's been almost everywhere across the globe. And it's all sold out everywhere. If you see white people jamming to a song, well, we're not supposed to see color, but <laughs> that's that's what it is. There is the, color. The giants of our, but we're not supposed to see color. <laughs> I'm, I'm colorblind, but there is color. <laughs> but there is color. So, okay, so it's time for a break, but we still have more stories to discuss. So stay with us, and we'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us on Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Moving on, there is an update on the death of the lucid dream singer Juice World, who died at the age of 21 after suffering a seizure at the Midway Airport, Chicago. It has now been disclosed that the rapper's private plane, which landed at Chicago Midway International Airport around 1 a.m., was searched by police for narcotics authorities. Set 
for narcotics authorities said that when Juice was playing with landed, it was carrying roughly 70 pounds of marijuana, six bottles of codeine cough syrup, and three firearms. Police were reportedly awaiting the plane and proceeded to search the cabin. Chicago police spokesperson Anthony Guli, Guli, Lim. <laughs> Guli Lim said it was during the search that Juice World suffered a seizure. An additional report by TMZ states that the Juice World took several unknown pills before suffering the seizures. His girlfriend has also confirmed that the singer takes Percocet and had a drug problem. Mm. Well, I think um, the drug problem is... Um, Obvious, like we all knew yeah, that. We like all knew in his music, problem. you can always tell that. Mm -hmm. um, he's... Pesticides is a drug many of those people take. You know, I'm a conspiracy theorist, and I'm just wondering why all of this findings are just coming out now after the young man's demise. Why yeah, is well, it that? I mean, no, but that's, 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 that's because of the investigation. Yeah, yeah I agree. I mean, I mean, this. about 70, 70, of 70 gram, 70 gram of pounds, um, pounds, pounds, pounds of marijuana, marijuana mm -hmm. was found. Three fire and six bottles of codeine. Codeine. I mean, yes, we, we all knew. I mean, Juice World was involved in drugs. It, was, it wasn't quiet about it. It wasn't sad. I don't think it was yeah. hidden. You it know, wasn't then, hidden. Amazingly, the, the report now said that were, the authorities were waiting for for the for the jet on the other yeah. side. So, mm. which means it was likely going to get arrested mm -hmm. once it touched down wherever it was going to. Mm. It's pretty sad. All of these findings are coming out after the young man is is gone. He can't be here to defend himself. You know, I think for me, it's just. The lessons, the awareness, the the, the wokeness, I mean that English. Young black Africans, Americans need to learn from these. Drugs kill. Mm. There is nothing fanciful, there's nothing hip, there's nothing cool about taking drugs, mm. mind altering substances. You know, um, I'm not gonna judge anybody. I mean, hey, I've been there, done that. You know, and then for most of it, like sometimes you you're in a state of hallucination. Mm. You're trying to get yourself back. Mm. You like, okay, what's going on? Not everybody has the will, the strength to come back from those mm. kind of situations, all right? I mean, yes, I mean, like, we can actually say, why would I want to sedate myself and just make me be thinking backwards and be going backwards? Because that's sometimes the feeling those mind-altering substances give. Yeah. And so for me, at the end of the day, no matter what is found from, from, from his cabin, the boy is no longer here. Lessons got to be learned from this. We can't keep having young blacks go this way. Too many of them have gone this way. And aside you know, that, I think I'm also going to focus on the lyrics in the music these days. I'd say, now mm. we're taking. Oh, you did say that let's, yesterday. Let's yeah. go back to the 1980s and 1990s. You hear a lot of rappers telling you how drugs are not cool. Do not take drugs. That was but my right, best era of music. Yeah, the 90s. yeah. But right now, you hear a lot of musicians telling you how much they've had lean, how much they have on cocaine, and that, and how much. I was and to like, talk about you're that. misleading the young stars out there. Like um, Juice World is 21. Permit 20 me to say more. that. At least I'm 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 like a decade older than him. He's 21. Do you understand? So, like, at me, the end of the day, like I think, I the, think um, the drug culture thing is eating too much into the music industry, and people need to be very aware of it now. I feel all these top celebrities and top artists here, yeah, they need to start. They need to create an awareness and maybe do an hashtag, say no to drugs oh, yeah. and all of that. Oh, yeah. So all the people looking up to you that wants to go into music will know that you're not where you are or you're not giving out um, good music because of drugs. Because a lot of people feel, yeah, the reason why most of these great artists have good music is because of, oh, they're taking drugs and then he puts them on this level that they get very nice lyrics and oh, good wow. music. And I'm it does not work back. like that. I'm I feel celebrities and artists need to come out now and create an awareness before this gets worse because it's already getting worse every now and then one young star is dying and we keep losing people this awareness needs to start now it shouldn't just end at oh her i pizza on him and that's it like we have the case of mark miller who also died of um drug Drugs. overdose and mm. all of that and this brings me to the era of music in nigeria as well now oh we've lost we've lost a few people to drugs to drugs, to drugs. Mm. yeah in, 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 in entertainment, entertainment like industry. last year two years ago I yeah mean, david Doe's camp and um one of the yeah you know, yeah i mean yeah. let's not forget that it's it's home with us right yeah also. so but at the same time i also want a lot of um artists in nigeria to also know that as much as I'm a fan, I'm a Malian, like I would say, <laughs> I'm a Malian, but um, talking about drugs in your music is misleading. 
Do you understand? Do your stuff. If you want to do drugs and you have control over it, but you do not know how the next man listening to your music would react after taking certain substances that you are glorifying in your music. Right. So I think a lot of artists should take that away from their song. Mm -hmm. Take your personal life Unless it is something motivational, unless it comes with a message, but do not start telling me, okay, look at Charlie Boy, for instance, telling us, oh, he's been smoking marijuana for 55 years. Yeah, he mentioned the health benefits and all of that, but imagine a young boy that looks up to the area father, probably a 15-year-old boy, and then says that, oh, if the area father has been doing it for 55 years, then why not? And then he does it, and then it gets... Um, he, he gets um, disoriented and all of that, and then he has to he go to the rehab, it. he can't control mm. it. And he also said that the first time he took it, he thought he was going to die, he became a prayer warrior and all mm -hmm. of that. So everybody reacts to drugs differently. So I think this message is just going out to all the artists out there. Stop glorifying drugs in your music. Yeah. Our gate, I'm going to say this. Um, our gate, the gatekeepers, they failed us. Mm. Mm. And unfortunately, we can't trust them any longer. So everybody's got to be the gatekeeper of their own life. Mm. Watch what you listen to, watch what you see, watch what you let inside of you. Because at the end of the day, what you allow inside of you takes over you. And music is one thing mm. that doesn't need your permission to permit into your spirit. Mm. Let the music be playing here right now. Step out in a few more minutes. That music will be playing, playing in your head. Mm. That is the power of music. It permits your spirit without your permission. It doesn't need your permission to get inside of you. So you want to be the gatekeeper of your year. What you listen to, what you allow comes mm. out of you. And know yourself. Finally, know yourself. So we're moving on to the next story. Al Kelly's ex tour manager will be testifying against the singer in his bribery case in order to marry Aliyah, who was at the time 15 years of age when she got married to Al Kelly. According to Demetrius Smith, he stresses that he doesn't want to be used as a witness to hurt the singer. According to Smith, the singer should be given a psych evaluation so he can be given the help he needs rather than being locked up in prison. Hmm. Mm. Well, I totally agree to this one because I don't think um, if Al Kelly is guilty of all the things he has been accused of, I don't think his mental state is balanced. I think it needs a psych evaluation. But he still needs to spend, he can spend, no, he, no, can, he can he, he can, he can jail. <laughs> that's, that's not what problem. everybody is saying. Like, that is not everybody just problem. wants to go to jail and then... jail and then it would get whatever attention he needs or whatever else Well, you know, he's also a victim of abuse as a young child. That's why we're, yes, they will so. help him in jail, but he will still go to jail if he did all that. Because, I mean, how, what, that's, that, your mental state of it cannot really justify what those girls are going through right now or how they are keeping up with their lives. So needs, if he has done the crime, he needs to, you know, do the time. Now, I'm not trying to be rude, but hey, pretty girl, I'm feeling you. <laughs> 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 I'm not trying to be rude, man. When do you guys want him to go to jail, though? Well, he needs, if he has done the crime, I think, he needs I think, to do the time. If he's not convicted, they can't send him to jail. Of course it is but not, this is but... He's buying bars right now, but this is it for me, But right? even this guy I said feel... they want him locked up. Yeah, that's it. I mean, they, there's so much clamor for him to be locked up. Why? Is there more to it than... Why, why is there so much of people wanting this guy to be behind bars for the rest well, of his because, life? Well, because of what he has done. I mean, what everybody feels bad and terrible about it if you watch... I'm not going to trivialize... In a sentence, you've proven guilty, it. so... Well... Ewa, Ewa, I'm not going to trivialize the women's experiences with Kelly, mm. but I was not there. It's their word against his and he's against theirs, you know? But why would we just take side all of a sudden? I mean, and, you know, we just, we just want the guy behind bars, you know? I say this when his story started surviving R. Kelly. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to separate the man's art from the man himself. We all have demons we're fighting with. Mm. All right, unfortunately, he's just come to glare because he's a superstar, he's a global mm. superstar. Mm. You know, and then the question is, if, if your demon, the demons you're fighting with was to be exposed to the public, and the sentencing was for you to be behind bars, mm -hmm. would you think the world was fair to you? Because we all have demons we're fighting with. We can't even deny it. It's whoever's demon comes out and openly disgraces them that we get to know about. Oh, well. Our Kelly <laughs> demons have come up to him now, and then we're well, seeing it. Well, um, you know? it's, it's so, so unlucky, we're but We're putting the man behind to... bars to solve the problem. 
That's why you will be behind bars and get the help you need. Let's not forget. You know why? It will get the help you need. I mean, panic. I mean, if it's not a correctional facility, nothing is going to change. So you want? Let's assume now that he's guilty of all those things. You want him to still be on the street, walking around? No, that's why we're saying he needs a psych evaluation. He needs help. He needs help. You know, I feel. I feel. I feel the struggle. Behind bars. Why are you making it look like if he's there, nothing is going to happen to him? They will definitely help him there too. What help do do inmates? get in Nigerian prisons? It's not in Nigeria. Nigerian no, I'm just saying. Well, I don't know. I've never been there. <laughs> we should, I think we should call up Naira Mali <laughs> to ask him what help I've he got in prison. I've never been there, so I don't know. Uh, all right, so it's I a totally wrap. agree. I totally agree with him on that. He needs a psychiatric evaluation. Yeah. And if he's found guilty, I'm not saying he shouldn't do his time for the crime he committed. But hey, let's not be too But don't you think this guy should be behind bars too? I mean, he was involved in all of that. It was, it was him that went to purchase the fake ID. Don't yeah, you think? he said he got the fake ID for Aliyah mm. and all of that. And, but right now, he's testifying. I'm so sure he got remember, the ID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a witness. So. He had a book he wrote actually some time ago. Mm -hmm. or so, and he so. said he's standing on his word, so he doesn't look like a liar. That whatever he put out in his book. And there's wasn't one thing true. he said I've said before on this show. Want to hurt he Kelly. said mm -hmm. he also said that he really doesn't want to hurt R. Kelly. And he said there's a, there's a side to R. Kelly that Nobody a lot of people don't do know. Not know. Yeah. That this guy is a great guy. That forget all of this. Yes, he has a like you of rightly course, said. Everybody, everybody has the demons. Oh, yeah. Do you understand? So his demons may outweigh the good, but it doesn't mean that he doesn't have a good Nobody side. Nobody said he doesn't have a good side. But yes, what well, you were going to say? Yeah, I mean, this yes. guy talked about people keeping Alia out of. The story? Um, the story right now. Honestly, I feel they should just respect yeah, her. Yeah, I think that was what you said. Yeah, the first they time. should just really respect her enough but and her family it's, because it's, the way, if this it's story, unavoidable. You can't talk about this without bringing Alia. How do you want to do that? Oh, well, that's why I said this particular um, bribery case they're adding to R. Kelly. Don't you understand that they just want R. Kelly to go down? Regardless of what goes down, how Kelly must go down. And with that, they I should sip please my tea. <laughs> <Aaliyah>. <laughs> All right, so this is how we wrap up on this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. Big shout out to my co anchors, Benny Ak and Ewari too, for their intelligent contributions and the entire production team. I am Ifeoluwa Oshikaya saying, Thank you for watching.